Yeah, Matt! How's it going? It's Logan here, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series for this channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a series where I just talk about or do discussions about the Korean shows that I've been watching and all that stuff. So every time I watch the latest episode, I will um, write down notes and then I make a discussion on it because I feel like uh, not that many people do this and um, also... Uh, I, I feel like it would just be a nice thing to just discuss this stuff with you guys, uh, because it's just, it's, I don't know. It's, uh, mainly I'm inspired by this YouTuber called Teking. He does this for, like, all the anime that he watches, all the manga chapters. He does it for, like, characters. He does, like, hour-long discussions on all this stuff. So I thought, why don't I give it a try? I don't know how long this is going to be, but as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a discussion on the latest episode of Knowing Brothers, episode 150. Now the start of the episode is nice with the autumn leaves and then everyone except for Hodong walks into the classroom and um, when all the people walk into the classroom or all the other members of the show walk into the classroom they see that Hodong is writing down some notes on a bit of paper and um, they're wondering what it is and they're just try like trying to get at it, trying to look at it and then um, a little bit afterwards Yongsho he takes a peek and he like touches the paper and then straight after that freaking Hodong goes pew and slaps Yongsho in the face and like it was just so funny man it cracked me up it seriously freaking cracked, cracked. it cracked me up so much but afterwards, Hodong felt bad for slapping um, Yongsho in the face, so he uh, allowed Yongsho to get him back. And then, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm just picturing it in my head again. Then Yongsho decided to, to to just do like a punch, like uh, to, to Hodong. And then after that, Hodong's like, he's like just like shocked and surprised that Yongsho did that. And I just could not stop laughing at how Hodong um, just reacted to that, man. It was just so good, so funny. It just like, oh, man. I think I was drinking water and I spit it out when I saw that. Because it was just so freaking funny, man. Then after that, Hodong was like, you can't see this um, note or something like that. But then he did the obsosa thing, which I just love. I just love that, man. Like, the obsosa just cracks me up every time. I just love it so much. There's just something about it that's just so freaking funny, man. I love the oh, so, so. And like, It sounds like a spell from an anime or something. So you just like imagine like anime characters, they're having a fight and then they're just like, oh, so, so. <laughs> Then after that, um, Hodong, he recommended that everyone should do um, some video messages because it's like autumn and all that stuff. And uh, he asked um, Sungmin... He asked Sungmin to do one, and uh, Sungmin decided to do it, and his one was actually very heart-touching. He did it for his, like, future son and all that, and uh, it, it really got to my heart. And then freaking Hecho, that mofo, he was like, um... Oh, great. <laughs> I forgot. All right, that's right. He told the crazy mofo. He was like, but what if he's already got a son and he's already out there? And like, everyone was like, oh my God. Like, it just like, everyone started cracking up laughing because uh, like the stuff he was saying, like, oh, I'll get like, I, I'm keeping my shoes for you for when you're older. Um, I'm keeping drinks for you for when you grow, grow up and all that stuff. So like that, like he was like, oh, but what if you already have one and you're just giving him this stuff? <laughs> and it was funny. It ruined the heart touching moment. Uh, and it made me laugh, but then afterwards Sungmin started to continue again and uh, it got it, 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 it touched my heart yet again And it was just freaking amazing man. Then after Sungmin's one it was um, Sulgun uh, He his one His video message was <laughs> His video message was to Jung Hun's future wife and it was like Please don't leave me and all that stuff and oh man was that good. I freaking love it because like there's this reoccurring joke um about um Jong Hoon's and um Sungmin's uh like wives that left them uh since their divorce. So like they did that as a joke and oh man Oh I could not stop laughing. That was just that was just too good man. It was too good. But yeah, after that, um Kyung Hoon, he did his video message and it was to a previous member on the show. Um it was a previous guest. I can't remember her name. Um but like they 
they it was with Jesse. She was on the show with Jesse. I can remember that. And then um, Kyung Hoon and her, they were like having like a, 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 a I don't they were having a moment where, like with risky jokes and all that stuff. And then like it was like, oh, I'll get you a number after this episode or something. I, it was something like that. It was, he left the message for her, which was short and sweet, and I loved that. But then straight after that, freaking bang! Are you? She walks in through the door, and then I'm just like, oh my god, it's IU. I was not expecting it, man. Like, if you guys don't know, freaking IU, she is, she is my queen. I freaking love IU. Her music is amazing. It always makes me feel emotional, makes me feel happy. She has an amazing voice that can just, like, make you feel relaxed. And, oh my god, she looks so adorable in the school uniform. Oh. And I seriously was not expecting IU to walk through the door. I seriously wasn't, because I don't watch the next episode preview and all that. So I, I was just, like, curious on who uh, today's guest was. Well, well the, this episode's guest was. And then and then IU walked through. And I can already tell that this is going to be one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> Mainly because I've already been laughing a crap load. And then IU walks in. And I'm just like, oh my god, I'm in love with this episode. And, like, this is just the beginning. This is, like, within the first, like, five, ten minutes. And then a little bit later on, they're like having a discussion and all that, and then Hodong is talking about how faithful um, IU is towards her fans and towards other people, which I agree with. IU is just an amazing person. She she loves like reaching out to the fans. She loves communicating with us, Uaners, and all that stuff. It like, oh like it, it was just really, really amazing. But then afterwards, the classic Star King. The Star King comes along, and I was shocked by this. I was seriously, seriously shocked by this. Ayu didn't speak for 10 hours when she was on the set. She didn't say yes, she didn't say no, she just did not speak whatsoever because of Hodong. Like, the fuck, man? Like, I was not expecting that. And then, of course, Hodong, he was trying to dig himself out of this one. He was, like, trying to explain it. But then... IU said that she was actually really thankful that um, she didn't speak for for the 10 hours because um, she wrote down in her diary after she did that episode, she wrote down that she wants to become a superstar and she was trying her hardest every day ever since. And look, look at her now. She is a, the superstar that we all know. And that is all because Hodong uh, didn't let her speak for 10 hours. So thank you, Hodong. I'm not too sure, man. I'm not too sure. Then after that, IU brought a friend to the show and she said that she, uh, he is very funny I don't know who I didn't know who this person was at the time I still didn't really know who he was and then um, all the members were just <laughs> rejecting him because they just wanted IU on the show which is like you know reasonable but then IU was like uh, I'm too scared that I'll ruin the show if I'm just here by myself so she brought this guy along and then we finally see the back of him and you just hear him say I am yeah, he says it in Korean, but I, I, I don't under, I can't speak Korean yet. He says that, and then and then Sugun, that man, oh, he said he was like, um, we don't want you or something like that. What did he say? I wrote it down in my notes. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, he said he yelled back saying, just stay there, and, and that cracked me up, man. It seriously cracked me up. That was just so so funny because after. Um, Sugun said that you just see you just see the mysterious man just like fall over into feet and you see like these like um um the you know like the the water drop things like and he was like oh I've been defeated <laughs> just from like the back and it was it was so funny man it was just so freaking funny I could really tell that I'm gonna be liking this uh this guy that I don't actually know uh I I was like oh he's really gonna be a funny man just like which I you said I you said that he is a funny guy and then after that. Our man walks in through the door, and I still don't know who he is. That is my first time I've ever seen him, um, or I could remember him, and, um, yeah, so I didn't know who he was, lol. <laughs> and then Jung Hoon mentions his name, and his name is, um, Jungi, and I, I, I could kind of remember that name, um, Jungi, I, like, it was, like, in the back of my mind, like, the tiniest wee bit, but I still didn't really know who he was. But now I know his name, and his name is Jungi. But 
man oh man was his introduction smooth like he had a cape on and all that and he walked in and um he was like just showing off and all that and then he was so smooth he was legit so smooth he was like Poof, like that over um iu and he was like i am here to protect iu today and when he like said that iu like came in close like oh <laughs> like, like being like a sweetheart. It was like an anime moment. Like he is an anime character. Jungi is an anime character from that moment onwards. But like, man, that introduction of his was smooth. I loved that introduction so much. Like it was such a good intro. <laughs> and then after that, we see Songmin having a freaking fan meltdown because he is a massive drama fan, and he saw Jungi and Ayu together. And apparent, I, like, I didn't really know this, but Jungi is like very famous he's a very good actor in korea and like freaking sungman he was just like freaking out and like it was like oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> and then jungi interrupts sungman when he's like having this um freak out moment and he was like um are you stressed out about your debt because um sungman's here it was like it was like all messy and all and he was like, oh my god, are you stressed out? Because, you know, when you're stressed out, you go like that. And then, and then, oh, it was just so sweet and adorable. Like, Sungman was like, oh my god, he knows me. And, like, he, he like, walked up with masses massive massive smile on his face and like went to shake Jungi's hand and then he got a hug and you could just see Sungman smile which was just so amazing man it was so freaking amazing like he was super freaking happy like I it, it's been a while since I've seen him super happy on the show and oh my that, that legit made made like the episode even more of one of my favorites and then after that, we um, see how or why Ayu asked Jungi to come onto the show. And, like, oh, that guy is amazing. He's such a nice guy. Um, like, he didn't have anything to promote. Uh, he didn't have a busy schedule. And um, he had a week to think about it. Ayu asked him, and he, she was like, oh, can you please get back to me within a week? And he came back to her within two days and saying, yes, I can. So that man, as soon, basically as soon as he got asked, he must have gone to his company, to his manager and asked and then like got a schedule ready because I, like, oh, that was so fast, which is just freaking amazing. He got that in two days and, oh, mate, if I swung that way, I would go for him. But since I don't, I'm just gonna fanboy over him. Oh, he's so amazing. Then this mofo Jungi just like made me realize that he watches the show because um, Ho Dong asked if he missed him and like during the that question, like it, there was like the old Sazar in there and then um, freaking Jungi, he replied going like, I'm so so Like because that that's like, uh, no I didn't or something like that. Like, oh, like, it was so, so funny. Like, I was not expecting that. So, basically, Jungi watches the show Known Bros. And he is a fan of that. Uh, like, the oh, so, so. And he just used it to attack Hodong. And Hodong was like, <gasps> and everyone else was cracking up laughing. And I just loved it to pieces. That was just so freaking funny. Uh, I, I could not stop laughing. But then afterwards, um, Jungi said it was a joke and he does miss Hodong. Which is uh, fair enough. I would miss him as well. Um, but then I was like, he is a goddamn anime character. Jungi is an anime character. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then after that, um, they they had talk about like other shows they've been on and all that. And then um, the Knowing Bros team remembered that Zico would recommend um, the show to IU. So IU would come on to Knowing Bros. And he didn't recommend that show. He recommended another show. Uh, IU didn't tell us which, so which show. But um, yeah, Zico, he, he didn't recommend... Knowing bros to IU. And do you know what this means? It means that Zico's um, contract got terminated. He was no longer going to be featuring every week. They destroyed that contract. And I am going to miss that. Because every freaking week since that contract was made, I was looking for Zico. I was like, oh, where is he appearing in this episode? Like, It was like a Where's Wally, but Zico version. And whenever he appeared, I'm like, oh! there he is and it made me happy you know so that was freaking cool but man he lost his contract which means i can't play that game anymore <laughs> oh and after some time um after that around like 10 minutes or so 
Um, um, Songman, he was like asking asking a question or something like that, and then Hodong was like, "Oh, you gotta lose weight. You're looking a bit chubby around your cheeks. You don't look as sharp and all that stuff." And then Songman was like, "Can you give me some snack?" Ayu was like, "The biggest star in my heart right now." Um, what did he say? I wrote it down. Like basically, um, yeah. I use the biggest star in his heart because he truly loves her new drama, My Mister. He was talking about how every move IU made looked so realistic, and then he said that um, after you watch the drama, you get these emotions that you can't understand, and that only IU can do that for you. And then whilst he was saying that, um, our anime character Jungi uh, was looking at IU admirably, which makes him more of an anime character. But seriously, like that, what what um someone said oh it got to my heart man it was amazing it was heart touching i was like oh mate he really is a major drama fan he loves he seriously loves ayu's work if he's saying that he like i still haven't seen my mister i need to see it i've seen ayu's oh that's where jungi jungi was in um scarlet heart rio um so yeah so that like that's how I vaguely remember him because I watched that show like last year or something I can't remember so I don't really I can't remember the the show that well so he was actually in it he was like the oldest person I can't I can't remember which character he was but he was in that show so that's how I kind of knew Jungi after I heard his name but yeah after all this it just I I want to watch. A drama that Jungi is in another drama so could you guys please recommend down below a drama or movie that he is in that you want me to watch because I oh mate I ah oh, I am falling in love with this guy his personality is freaking amazing dude like so freaking amazing I'll watch the drama um, that's got the most thumbs up so if you guys see a drama that you guys like that he's in then, you know, leave a like on it and comment it down below. And then later on, we see Jungi's flexibility because he's doing jujitsu and he you know, does like handstand and like whips open those legs of his. And and then like they start, uh, oh wait, yeah, he, he like, um, yeah, he, he like whipped open his legs after doing a handstand. And it was because he did that for a drama, I if I remember. He, um, did it it was like part of the scene as well like it got implemented into the actual show after he did that he said something like um you want to kiss my uh upper lip or something like that and then I don't, it was something like that i can't remember that well and after that um and after that uh they started talking about how um iu can sing for a long time and how she has a concert for like up to five hours which is freaking long man so freaking long um and it was freaking, oh, it was amazing just like hearing um, the stuff like that Ayu was doing in her concert. And then, I, um, not Ayu, Jungi um, talked about how when he went to one of her concerts, he just loved how Ayu was communicating with the fans. Uh, and, and, uh, and how she did a planned performance for three hours and then did two hours of encores. Um, and he just loved the atmosphere all together. And after that, they started to, they asked if Ayu could sing for them, and they requested a couple songs. The first song, which was Through the Night, and she got into it instantly. And man, let me say this, her voice is freaking amazing. I, it's just, it's like, I, I already know her voice is amazing, but like hearing it like raw through Knowing Bros, it just made me love her voice even more. Um, it, it was just, it was just amazing. Da, 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 da. I can't sing, but she was like doing that, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm in love with you, you. <clears throat> and after she did a little singing of Through the Night, she went into Autumn Morning. Um, and that's mainly because Yongchul was like, oh, there's no instrumental for the start of Autumn Morning. Uh, I love Autumn Morning. It's one of my favorite IU songs of all time. Um, so when she started singing that from the start, oh man, it just made me think of when I do listen to the song, it actually 
brings me to like an autumn morning like my mind just feels so refreshed I feel like I'm drinking a coffee looking outside a window and I just see the golden leaves falling off the trees every time I listen to that song that's what I picture in my head and when she started saying that on the show oh you 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 know I started thinking about that like that was just so so beautiful, man. Autumn morning, you guys got to give it a listen. Such an amazing song. Same with Through the Night, okay? Listen to it. And then, our man Kyung Hoon, our freaking, what is he called? Um, Samja? Samji? Some, something? Uh, he's called something like that. And then he was like, um, I request you to call me Kyung Hoon Oppa. <laughs> and like she does it she does it and I was just like cracking up laughing like that's such a Kyung Hoon thing to do like it was so funny that it was like he's such a like funny person Kyung Hoon like I just love how he's always thinking about stuff like that and oh it cracked me up man it seriously cracked me up and like everyone now started laughing because like it's just, it's just like, <laughs> Kyung Hoon, it's just Kyung Hoon, man. It's <laughs> Actually, if I remember, I cracked up laughing out loud when I like saw that. It was so freaking, it was so freaking funny. And then our anime character, Jungi, recommended or requested Ayu to sing Marshmallow because he loves that song. And he actually had a funny story with that, which was um, when he went to that concert that Ayu went to, uh, IU went to when he went to IU's concert. Um, he like she was like, Oh, yell out what song you want me to sing, and then he yelled out Marshmallow because he likes Marshmallow. And then all the other male fans just stared at him like this, like, What the fuck, man? Like, what are you doing? But he he must like that song a lot. And then she sung it, and oh man, that song is awesome! That song is awesome. I'm not sure if I got it on my Spotify playlist. But I know now I'm going to have it on my playlist because that song, oh, it just sounded real nice. And I'm pretty sure that came out before Good Day. So it must have been when she was like 18, 19 when she released. I don't even know when, when she released Good Day, to be honest. But still, it was an amazing song. And then after that, it's been like 55 minutes into the show. And then we finally get to see them being enrolled into the school. I'm pretty sure this is my first time I've ever seen the enrollment be this long like I am not joking like it was at like 55 minutes 55 minutes out of I think it was a 140 minute episode not 140 an hour 40 minute episode so like that that's quite quite some time so it got me thinking is there gonna be a second episode of this like and, and all that and um, I'm pretty sure they also mentioned in the in the show that it's gonna be a two uh, a two-week episode. So next week, we're going to be getting some more um, IU and Jungi, which is freaking dope, man. So freaking dope. But then, um, after that, um, yeah, so after that, the Knowing Bros, they were like, oh, um, Jungi, he was like, oh, I can't do this beat, like the baby shark, like, baby shark, do, 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 do mama shark, do, do, and, like, he couldn't do that beat, because, like, he always got the, he was like, do, 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 like, he couldn't get that right, he was saying, like, that's, like, one of the only songs he can't do, and then after that, Sorgan was like, oh, can you do this, and it was, like, the, like, a, uh... oh, how the hell do you do, this? wait, how the hell do you do that? I can't do it. I can't do it. So Sulgan was trying. Sorry about that. My camera has stopped recording. Um, <clears throat> and then um after that Sulgan he was like um, he was saying something like um oh can you guys do this? Like do that. And Ayu and um Jungi they tried to do it and they were failing miserably. But they were so fascinated at the same time by it. Like they. They um, were like, oh my god, that's so freaking amazing. And, um, like, he... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, and then afterwards, of course, Sulgon, the variety show com comedic god, I don't even... Like, he's just so funny. He started to do that beat. 
but sing a variety of songs at the same time. Like he did, um, I think Baby Shark, and then he did an IU song, and then he did something else, like whilst doing that beat. And I just cracked up laughing, man. Like he's just so funny. Sulgun is an amazing person, man. So freaking amazing. Then after that, um, IU talks about how she can do a headstand. And she just goes up and she does it instantly. And she's like, her legs aren't shaking. She's like, she's like, solid. She's solidly doing a headstand. And then um, after she does it, um, the Nine Bro members, they're like, oh, Sulgan could probably do this. So Sulgan goes to do it. And he does a different posture. And apparently it's harder. And he does it first try. But his legs are shaking. So he's not as stable as IU was. But it was a, diff a more difficult posture. And, like, it just made me realize how, like, I already knew Sugon was, like, in a freaking ace for the show. But it just made me realize even more, like, how amazing he is. Like, how he can do all this stuff just, like, instantly. Like, he's so freaking talented, man. Actually, I kind of want to try and do the headstand. Uh, they say don't try this at home, but I'm going to try it. Because I'm a badass. <laughs> okay. Can you guys see? Ah! I can't do it. I can't. Holy crap. How the hell do they do that? I seriously can't do that. That is amazing. Holy crap. I almost just like broke my neck. And me just trying that, that was so tiring. It made me, like, that made me a bit more like exhausted. Holy crap. Yo, their fitness levels are insane. That, like, that, like, wow. That was insane. I seriously, I seriously tried. And that made me a bit exhausted. It, maybe it's just like I'm super unfit, but holy crap, that, their stamina is insane. Um, holy, yeah, holy, like, holy. And then, um, oh, sorry, let me get back to this. And then afterwards, um, after that, Jungi, he was, uh, he, he went to show what he can do. And then it was, he can do like the splits. So, uh, holy crap, he is flexible, so freaking flexible, like, what he was doing was just insane, like, how, like, it, it, like, he's so flexible, like, I wish I could do the splits, okay, I'm gonna try and do the splits now, um, I'm not, sh I haven't done, this, done it in so long, but I'm, we're gonna find out right now how well I can do it, okay, can you guys see me, can you guys see my legs, I just need to quickly stretch, Oh yeah! Okay, here we go. Mate, I can't. Oh. How the hell can people do the splits, mate? How the hell can. Ah! Oh, that hurt me, groin! That's insane! How the hell can people do that, man? Holy smack! Oh. Oh. And then afterwards, Sorgan is like, Yo, you can do the splits really well, but can you do the splits over some discs? And they set up the two discs, and he just does it perfectly, man. Jungi does the splits over the discs perfectly, and... Oh, that's insane. And then they try and get Kyunghorn to do it, and they almost, like, injure him. And then after that, uh, Hold On tries, and then the members of Nine Bros like, this is our moment, and then they just start pulling his legs back, which was funny. Um, I found that pretty hilarious. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and then afterwards, um, the, after they stop pulling on uh, Hold On's legs, uh, he chill, he's like, run, run, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, it was, uh, it was, it was funny, it was funny. And then after that. We see another special move from this anime character, Jungi. And do you want to know what this special move was? It was motherfucking badass kicks. Like this mofo, he was like, pew pew, like freaking like kicks up high and all that stuff. Like he was like doing boom. Oh wow, I'm actually pretty good at doing kicks. Oh, oh no I'm not. No I'm not. Oh. Oh, that hurt me groined. I can't do kicks. I thought I could do it well, but I can't. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. But yeah, this man was able to do kicks super high and all that stuff. And then um, 
after we see him doing the kicks, um, Hodong like, gets like this matte thing beside his face, and um, Junkie's like, oh, can can you please like stay still and let me uh, kick this and all that stuff, and then like they have a little wee play fight, and then you just like hear a noise. I didn't even like you hear a noise like like a loud noise like that, and then I'm like, what the hell was that? And I replayed it and. It, it was freaking Jungi. He kicked the mat super fast. I didn't see it the first time. I seriously did not see it. I must have blinked or something like that. Like, I didn't see it the first time. Like, it was insanely fast. And I'm like, holy crap. And like, he had the mat bang on. And I was like, what the hell? And then afterwards, um, he was like, oh, hold on. Can you please stop moving? Can you please stand still? And then, of course, hold on. He's like, oh, 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 all that stuff. And then, <laughs> and then he goes for a second kick, Jungi. And he goes for the kick. And then hold on, moves forward a bit. And he hits Hold Hong's head. And I'm like, oh no. Like, I, I just started laughing, but I felt bad at the same time. You know, it was like the pitiful laugh. And then after that, I'm like, but he kind of did deserve that. He was moving when he was asked not to uh, not to move. Oh my god. Jungi. His kicks. He can kick amazingly. And I've been calling him an anime character throughout this video. You know what? You want to know what this means? It means he's Sanji. He reminds me of Sanji from One Piece. I need to find out if he can cook. I seriously need to find out. Let's do some searching right now. What does that outcome look like? Oh! He is Sanji, alright! Oh, he is Sanji! Oh my god! I'm calling him Sanji for the rest of this video. I'm sorry, but not sorry at the same time. He's going to be called Sanji from now on. It's my nickname for him, okay? Just leave me alone. He can cook and he can kick. That's all that I need. He's called Sanji. Anyways, let's continue with this discussion. Afterwards, Sanji... Afterwards, um, Sanji, he had another special move, which was walking on his butt. Oh my god, walking on your butt? It, um, and then it comes down to a race of walking... On your butt. It's a butt race, basically. And then... <laughs> and the captains for this butt race are Sanji and IU. And... Oh, man. Like, the teams are pretty well balanced. I'm not gonna lie. The teams were pretty well balanced. Um... Like, I, I quite like the balancing of the teams. Um... So, first... It was, the race began with Heicho and Jung Hoon, who were probably the, the weakest out of the butt races. And then it went to Kyung Hoon uh, versus Ho Dong. And Ho Dong was pretty bad at it. Kyung Hoon was just funny, as always. He is so funny when it comes to like his body and athletics and all that stuff. He just like knows how to make it funny. And then <laughs> afterwards, it was Sugun versus Yong Cho. And um, that was an interesting one. Um, I I can't remember who won that. It was like it was like a you know who goes over the line first, and then the next set of people go. So I think um, Sulgun he went over the line first, and then IU started. IU started hers, and then she was about halfway, and then um, Yong Cho finished going over the line, and then it was down to IU versus Sanji. IU was going from halfway to the finishing line, and then Sanji begun. And after um, IU went over the line, IU won the race, the butt race. Um, Sanji, he was like four fifths of the way, oh, like, like towards the finish line. He was like right behind IU after that. And basically, straight after this, um, IU and Sanji got accepted into the school. So before they like handed in their um, their app, uh, enrollment forms, and then now they finally got accepted. And then um, Hold On did the oh, like that thing, like you're like you're accepted and all that stuff. So that was uh, that that was basically the episode ending on that. So that was like the entire episode of the, just them getting accepted into the school. So next week. Um, uh, there's going to be the questions. They're going to be answering their questions or asking their questions. And uh, it's going to be cool because we get another week of Sanji and IU. And I love this. Like, I am now a fan of Sanji or Jungi. I'm a fan of Jungi. And I'm already a fan of IU. 
Uh, so, so like, I'm already super excited for next week's episode. It's going to be so good to see Sanji and IU again. Um, I can't wait to hear the questions that they have. Definitely Sanji. Um, I wonder how interesting his ones will be. And, um, yeah, that's basically all for this. Um, I love this episode a lot. It was so funny. Like, it was probably, it's definitely one of my all-time favorite uh, episodes. It's uh, Actually, it might be one of my all-time, actually, no, it is my favorite episode of all time. Um, my previous favorite episode was with B2B. Um, that was just so funny, and then it was also shiny, um, that were after B2B, but this IU episode, it's gone, it's gone above both of them, so I am super freaking, like, excited for next week, it's gonna be freaking amazing, um, I'm gonna give this episode a 10 out of a 10, because it was, uh, it was just so fun to watch, and all that stuff, and, uh, yeah, other than that, that's basically going to be all for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, then show some support by leaving a like and also comment down below one of Jungi's dramas that you want me to watch uh, during my own time. And then I'll be doing reviews on that if you want. Also, let me know what you think about the series. And because it's just like a fun wee series where we get to communicate about a show, I'm being casual and all that stuff. Like, I get to talk about what I loved about it and all that. So comment down below if you like this series as well. And subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because there will be more uh, content like this if you guys enjoy it. So yeah, subscribe for that. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And just keep on smiling. And adios! Doof! Squaw!